What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So before we continue, make sure you Welcome go ahead and spend it. all those hard-earned echoes. Uh, well. We are still focusing Good on leveling up vitality for now. Just to give some... Oh God, just open the thing, lady. <laughs> just to give some idea of where we're going. Um, vitality, we want to get that up to about 30. Endurance, we want to be at about 20. Our strength and skill are fine where they're at right now. So we're going to focus on going for that 30-20. Um, and then somewhere along the line, we're going to bump Arcane up to 18 as well. Uh, so I might actually go probably 20, 20, 18, and then focus on getting that up more. But either way, for now, let's hop on over here and go to Cathedral Ward. So for um, what we're going to do here is go pick up a new weapon. And after we get that, we'll uh, do a little trick to afford it. But previously, this would have been locked. Doing the Bloodstained Beast would have opened that on up. So now we can go this way. Um, we're actually going to run off this elevator about halfway. Right there. Oh, I missed it. It's fine. It's easier to hit on the way down. That. And... It's just right down here. Yes, here we go. Formless Odin Rune. And the Messenger Urn Festival. Now we're going to take the elevator again. First, and we'll get the chest. Another rune. Which we'll be able to put those on very, very soon. There's a couple different ways we can go here. Um, we are going to work all the way up to the top of this place first, though. And then we'll worry about alternate paths. Can, uh, put this on. Uh, get off of me. Burn, bitches! I'll have to buy that little lantern when I get back, too. Kill all them and head on up. Right in the corner. Get Mr. Uh, wheelchair Minigunner. Where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> that's just a little, little quick fry there. Oh shit! That was almost really, really bad. Him. Now we'll take care of you. Almost got blasted off by that guy's rifle. Take this around and head up top. Alright, I'm gonna go around here for an item and then head in inside. Another guy, kill him, and we are all set. Uh, so right here, we can't actually go through this for now. This is the upper cathedral area that is much, much later in the game, like towards the end later. Uh, but the reason we came all the way over here is for this chest right here. The Radiant Sword Hunter badge. Beautiful. Beautiful badge, which will unlock a new weapon for us. Um, so after that, we're going to work our way back on down. 
You could bold hunter's mark if you want, but it's not like it's a very far run. Alright, now we're gonna go this way, and there should be a skitters around the corner. Assuming it didn't haul ass away. There it is. Where are you going, little guy? Nope. Nope. There we go. Just want to make sure it doesn't uh, accidentally fall off. Alright, now, from here, this part can be a little bit tricky. But well, there are a couple different things here that we want. And the first is, so you can see, like, there's, there's some loots. Well, let me walk out here. You can see there's loots down there, loots down there. Uh, but what we are trying to get is that door that you can see kind of how that rope leads down. The best way to get it is to just walk. So right here, position yourself so you're kind of staring at the rope. Like, look at this, this uh, disjointed plank here. And just walk. And then heal up. And then walk again. Here we go. Abandoned workshop. Pretty sure there's a... Uh, I think you get a trophy just for showing up to this place. Uh, but the abandoned workshop is basically what everything is modeled around. The, the hunter's dream. This was an old workshop that Germain had. Uh, there's a couple things here of value. So right here, we have access to the doll set. So you can look like a pretty little doll. Head on up here. And we get a third of the umbilical cord. And then you can see an old version of the doll right here. Um, and then in here, we have the small hair ornament. And then we have the old hunter's bone. Where's the old hunter's bone? I know it's here. Phantom Workshop has chest with doll, old hunter's bone, one third umbilical, and small hair ornament. Oh, right here. Old Hunter Bone. Uh, so the Old Hunter Bone, actually a pretty good, pretty good art. Um, basically, when you pop this, it gives your guy, um, I don't know how to describe it. You just have like this aura around you. And so it allows you to move really, really fast, like super fast dodges and quick steps. And you're just like, you're like an anime character, basically. Your character's like, zoo, 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 just dashing all over. Uh, but it does use four bullets to get that buff active. But anyway. Uh, after we get all that stuff, go ahead and hit this, and we're going to warp on out. Now, getting that badge unlocked the new weapon of ours, but that weapon is going to cost 20,000 echoes. Fortunately, we have a way to afford that with ease. Um, so there it is, the Ludwig's Holy Blade, a beautiful, beautiful weapon. Uh, go to sell items. And that doll set that we just picked up, it is worth buco bucks. Look at that. 14,000, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000. Um, the set also happens to have, it's like either the, the, the first or second worst defense in the entire game. So you're not really, you're not losing anything by hanging on to it. Uh, but go ahead and pick up Ludwig's Holy Blade. If there's other weapons that you want to pick up, like uh, the rifle, for example, Ludwig's rifle isn't, isn't bad at all. Um, you might as well right now. Uh, personally, I would recommend only picking up that for now. We don't need any of the, the Yarnum Hunter stuff. Uh, and I'd spend the rest on leveling. Well, first we're going to upgrade our weapon. But um, yeah, that and leveling. Ludwig's Holy Blade. Could keep the Soul Cleaver around as a backup just to have something serrated for beasts. Beautiful. Okay, so let's pump up our Holy Blade. This is going to be our primary weapon for uh, most of the playthrough, to be honest here. It's a very, very solid choice. Um, the scaling goes much higher than CDC, but basically it scales in Arcane, Strength, and Dexterity. Or excuse me, Strength and Skill. Uh, so just a very, very nice, nice weapon to have. One that we can't really go wrong with. Uh, just to give a brief overview of it, since this is going to be our, our primary weapon. 
The regular attack is very much like a longsword in Dark Souls. It's got that heavy thrust attack that you're used to. It's got that rolling upswing that we're used to. It's got the backstep upswing. Um, it's unique. Well, this and the Kirk Hammer both have this. If you do a neutral transformation, so L1, R1, you can do an immediate attack. Um, and this is basically just great sword mode. Nice, big, chunky smash there. Really heavy thrust. And you'll notice we don't have our gun anymore. Now our L2 does this big overhead smack. So you can like swing into a smack, into a smack. Um, but because of that, we're going to be getting a different weapon that will allow us to get parries off. But either way, sword is fantastic. Can't go wrong with this thing. Um, so we go level up real fast. Welcome. Very well. Uh, I'll get that to 20, and we're going to get our endurance up to 20 as well. We're going to give her the small hair ornament. To give us a tear stone, which is a passive health regen. Which I guess we could put there. Eh, I might as well put it in my gun real fast. Pop this open. As long as we have our pistol on, we recover two health per second. Um, so from here, warp back to Cathedral Ward again. time. Except this time we're going to be aiming to make our way all the way to the bottom. So this is a little bit tricky. Um, there's a good chance you could die here. It's, you know, it's gravity drops. So just have plenty of heals. We're just going to run past these guys. We're not worried about them at all. Just keep going. I mean, you can kill them if you want, but you know, no, no real reason to. Alright, so this time we are aiming to make our way all the way to the bottom and get the loots. Now, what's interesting is where we warped out previously, we can actually uh, just kind of drop straight to the bottom of this hole from there. And it's really easy to reach, but then you miss out on all the potential loots. So, you know, it's like a, it's a toss-up. Do you want the loots or do you want the easy way out? Messenger top hat. Right. Come on. There we go. No! No! I did say there was a chance we'd die. Let me see. I'm right down. I know I wrote down what it is. Um, no, I didn't write down what it was. I just said drop and get the loots. Well, that's okay. We gotta take the, the same path. Same path as before. I just missed my, missed my drop slightly. It's always the, the walk-off drops that I personally struggle with the most. Like, your typical drops, easy for me, but the walk-off ones, they're, they're always just like... I don't know. I just can't do it. Show this thing in action. Oh, look at that. Look at the, look at the broad swings. Beautiful damage. Now, while the sword doesn't have the serrated bonus that uh, our other weapon had against beasts, it does have something that's known as a radiant bonus, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the way it works is that there are certain, I guess we could call them unholy enemies in the game that you will get a damage bonus against. Now, there's not a lot of enemies that that damage bonus will activate against, um, but there are some. So, you know, it's not like, uh, 
you basically have a, a couple, uh, you have uh, the radiant, radiant damage, you have serrated, and then you have uh, damage versus kin. Those are your, your uh, enemy damage types. I mean, of course, you, you know, you have uh, like piercing, excuse me, uh, thrust, blunt, and regular. There we go. All right. Now this next part, we have to get onto that thing. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice landing. There we go. And we made it down. Uh, this guy's a unique beast. He does not respawn, but he also drops a rune for us. And the, the look of him, that's actually, uh, we're going to be fighting a thing that looks just like this a good bit later, but it'll be crazy strong. Okay. We want to go left first, there's some crows and some loot. That, um, let me see here. Um, Circle around and run straight for the glowy, then kill patrol. Kill them. The patrol's not paying attention to us. That's the elevator out. We don't want to do that yet. Uh, so this is a snatcher. Be very careful. If you die to this guy, you're in for a bad time. Uh, if you die to him, they're, they're like they literally they're gonna kidnap you and they're gonna take you somewhere. So you do not want to die to him right now. If you die to him, you're gonna have a really bad time. I promise you. Just be careful. You can um, best way to do it. He's gonna get angry in a second. We're gonna do some damage, and when he gets angry, we're gonna get behind him, and we're going to charge attack and then smash him. I did not get my visceral. Typically when they do that charge up there, you get behind them and hit a one of those. Uh, and then after that, you're able to just visceral them and kill them. But just be careful around that thing. If you're you're worried at all, just avoid it. Like, I'm not even kidding, just run away. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. If Bagman is here, be careful. Continue on and sneak up on the brain sucker. Okay, brain sucker down here. Um, either have this ready, our fire sprayer, or some Maltovs. Uh, this guy can also really suck if you're really worried. We don't have any, so it's not going to be an issue. Uh, but basically, these guys are... You can, you can torch this guy pretty fast. Like that. Um, they will grab you, and when they grab you, they'll actually rip your insight away, and there's no way to get that insight back. So, just be careful around them. Uh, they're particularly weak to lightning. I don't think many of you would have anything with lightning at this point, but worth pointing out there. I take the elevator up. And we're gonna get this. And then we're gonna drop and we're gonna hit this. Now I said that there was like a gate that we would need 10,000 echoes to open. This is just one way that we are avoiding that. Uh, if we run right down here, this is the cathedral. No cathedral's right there. Just to, well, let me, just to show, show exactly where we're at in case somebody dies. Right here. Perfectly straight. So, just take that, that mid-entrance and you can run right back up here. This is kind of the, the middle of the Cathedral Ward Zone. 
Uh, and we're not actually going to do the Cathedral Ward Zone yet. There's some other things we want to do first. So for the time being, we are going to go up this way. Grab some loots here. Get cold blood. Run past this guy. Grab those blood vials. Run past this big guy. Keep going all the way up. Past them. All right. Um, now there's quite a few things in this area. Um, so we want to put on here, uh, put on some Maltops. Um, basically there's gunners and there's dogs. So uh, this, this area can be a little bit obnoxious at times. Like either you're going to cruise right through here without any issue or you're going to die a bunch. If it even remotely looks like you're going to die, just, you know, screw it. Just press on ahead. You don't really need to kill the stuff here. Uh, the loot really isn't that consequential. It's like mostly little things that are kind of pointless. And you'll get some base upgrade mats. I think there might be some twin shards. I like taking the left side first. That's what we're doing right now. Two thrust is very nice. It's actually, if you're low on bullets, this is a, a good area to farm up bullets early on. that beast bonus. Completely. It's like always the, the worst timing on that. Right, so with them dead, now we are going to uh, go up the left side. Uh, there's some twin bloodstones, gunners are all around the tombstones over there, some pebbles, bone marrow, and some thick blood. Um, Ignore that one for now. He is basically bait. There's a bunch that are like out here in the tombstones that'll have a line of sight on you. And we want to worry about them first. Where were the twin shards at? I missed them. Nope. Go. That might be enough for us to upgrade our uh, love wigs to a higher tier as well. Alright, now this one, this is the only part where you really gotta be like extra careful, just because there's a bunch of them. So I would use a Molotov here. what'll happen here. There we go. If you're not careful, um, these guys will just hit you four times in a row. Just like bang, 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 bang. Because you don't actually get stunned enough to get like iframes or anything. Um, and then you die. And then you're like, are you, are you shitting me? Did I really just die to this? So, just be careful around them. Throw some Maltops, finish them off, do whatever you need to do there. Um, but after that, we are basically set. So, from here, we're going to proceed through, hit the gate. I mean, you could have gone to the gate first. There is a, a lantern uh, right after we open this, but... You know, you've come this far. Why back out now, right? So, let me see. Do we have... We do. Alright, awesome. I'll go upgrade our weapon as well. Upgrade and level up. Welcome to Hemwick Sharna Lane. 
So this area is not too shabby. Uh, I think this is one of the, the better beginner friendly zones. There's um, a fair mixture of, of enemies with different weapon types as well as uh, some brick trolls and some kind of interesting scenarios here. We have to like dodge traps and whatnot, but either way, it's, it's a good, I like, uh, I like this part. But we're gonna go here, upgrade our weapon. Fortify, no, 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 fortify this, yes. I gotta figure out what else I want to use, to be honest. Um, I mean, just regular old saw cleaver is not bad. I kind of do want to keep something around for uh, anti-beast damage. But anyway, we'll do that. Welcome. What? Very well. We're going to bump that up. Get that to twenty. Put arcane up, and we are all set. So in the next episode, we're going to be tackling. And a new tombstone now. Uh, Hemlock Charnel. So stay tuned, and I will catch you all then when we jump into another zone and take on a boss.